Do you know what me and Olivia Jade have in common? No, what? Both her and I did not attend the USC rowing tryouts. Oh, damn. I don't know if it works like that. One of us got in, though. Olivia Jade is blaming her parents for all that's happened. The 19-year-old flipping off the camera with both hands. She's accused of conspiring with this guy in California. So they got into college under false pretenses. Those new lawsuits target both the celebrities involved and the universities named. One mother is asking for $500 billion in damages. This is the biggest names accused of wrongdoing are facing new backlash. This morning, under indictment and out of a job, actress Lori Lon when dumped by the Hallmark Channel after investigators say she and her husband paid half a million dollars in bribes to get their children into USC. Ah, this is unfortunate, but not surprising at all. So nine months ago, we covered the college admissions scandal here on this channel, where basically a bunch of very wealthy parents bribed top schools in the US so their kids could get in. And the face of the scandal quickly became Lori Laughlin, mainly because she's Aunt Becky from Full House, and she's also the mother of Olivia Jade, the popular YouTube creator who is also under flack because of this, mainly because of the influence this family has, and also just because of the sheer stupidity around this case right now and this family. Like how Olivia's family got Olivia Olivia Jade into USC through the rowing team, yet Olivia has never been a part of a rowing team before, and they had two fake pictures of Olivia on a rowing machine for her to get put into USC. And the final reason to why I guess they're just like the center of attention for this entire case is because they pled not guilty, despite all of that that we already know. Did you know that they're pleading not guilty because the husband, like the Massimo guy, uh -huh. he, the, he said that he wanted to plead not guilty because he didn't want to tarnish their name. But, like, it's kind of funny because, like, don't you think going to jail is going to tarnish your name a little bit more than pleading guilty? Because the yeah. other family pled guilty and, and the mom went to jail for, like, two weeks or something. Not even, you know. Oh, boy. That's just insane as well. Because, like, Olivia Jade flat out took someone's spot at USC. And she definitely took someone's rowing spot on the USC team. <laughs> Isn't she saying that she wants to go back? She yes. wants to get into USC. Like, she lost all her partnerships, right? So now she's like, look, I need this. No, she, what she should have done is like, look, obviously I need my YouTube channel now. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. She just doesn't row and she wants to get back into the USC. She Is she going to go back through the rowing program to get back in? Like, it just does not make sense. She doesn't even row. Remember Aunt Becky? Yeah. She's in jail now. <laughs> you feel old yet? <laughs> I guess you can say she went from a full house to a fuller house. Hey. Yeah, these are, our jails are completely overpopulated. Ooh, social political commentary here. Oh, no, that's not what we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. None of that here. But in today's video, I wanted to go through her comeback video, which was Hi Again by yours truly, Olivia Jade. And finally, I want to go through what the internet's response to her has been, because it seems to be very split right now. And I waited to upload this video a bit because I wanted to see if she was actually going to post like a normal video onto her channel that was not like a update video about the situation or Hi Again. I, I wanted to see just a normal Olivia Jade upload. And I actually wanted to see if she was going to go forward with doing that. But it's been like 10 days since she uploaded this original video. So I'm not quite sure what's happening there. I'm not sure if the hate's getting to her and she doesn't really want to upload a normal video or if she's getting cold feet now or I don't know what's going on. But let's just go through this together and weigh the sides. Hi, everybody. It's Olivia Jade. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously, I've been gone for a really long time. And as much as I wish I could talk about all of this, it's really hard for me to say this just because I know that it's something that needs to be addressed. It's just unfortunately, which is also why I didn't know exactly when I should come back to YouTube. But the reason for that is just because I'm legally not allowed to speak on anything going on right now. A part of me is like, should I come back to YouTube right now? Because I, it's been so long and I actually really, really miss it. So a hot take here. While I understand why everyone is insanely upset with her for what she did college wise, I don't really agree with her completely quitting YouTube. I feel like she still has a place on YouTube no matter what. Definitely when you look at 5 million views in the first 10 days of the upload of this video and 127,000 likes. 
Well, isn't that because she hasn't posted in a really long time? Everyone's been wondering if she would ever post again. Obviously, I know. it's going to get that kind of reaction. But still, 130,000 likes. And 100 more, like, what, isn't the dislikes even more? I know, but I, I guess the thing is, like, if 130,000 lo- people liked it, she still has, like, a core fan base, like, backing her. Yeah, that's true. So, in reality, like, if she came back and just did what she did before all of this happened with her college, I feel like she would be fine because everything negative that happened to her happened to her because of what she did outside of YouTube. Like if she just didn't go to college and was a full-time YouTuber, number one, I think she would have been happier to, to begin with. Number two, she would have completely evaded all of this. I guess that's where I kind of stand on this because like I have no problem with her uploading videos to YouTube. I do have a problem with her going to USC though. I think she definitely could come back and just, you know, over time people would stop disliking her stuff, I guess. I don't know. But I, I do want to see, I do want to see what some of these comments are saying. She's talking so much at saying nothing at all. I still have yet to see her be sorry for all she's done. Like not even a fake apology. She can't even pretend to be sorry. To me, this makes me think she believes she's done nothing wrong, which is kind of scary to be honest, but. That's like a legal in, thing in, though. In reality, it's yeah, it's a legal thing. She, Her parents aren't admitting they're guilty, meaning she cannot say she's sorry because they're saying they're not guilty for anything. So it puts her between a rock and a hard place. I feel like I'm just defending Olivia Jade here and I don't really want to be defending Olivia Jade either because like I absolutely hate what this family did. I feel like it's insanely unfair to everyone, yet I do sympathize with her on some areas. (laughs) Imagine the worst part of your life being not filming yourself. (laughs) Yeah. She seems to have the intelligence of a seven-year-old kid. Oh my goodness. Credits to her for keeping the comment section open though. Honestly, yeah, kudos to her for that. I feel like most people would just turn it off immediately. Oh, 100%. Did she really just say the moral of the story? I missed you guys so much and I'm excited to be filming and uploading again. That That's not the moral of the story, girl. It's kind of true. The moral of the story, you got caught and kicked out of school and then you quit uploading YouTube videos for nine months and now you're kind of coming back. I don't know why you took a nine month break for this. Like, I feel like you should have taken a two month break and then been like, you know what? This is stupid. I'm an idiot, but here's my regular content because that has nothing to do with me going to school to begin with. But also you don't know what's going on in her actual life. That is true. I'm just sitting here in my room, in my office, I mean, speculating about someone else's life on the internet. So she could have been going through chaos during those months, you know, like, hey guys, oh, she's here's my like probably life. Probably going hell. through chaos, honestly. You know, your your mom going to jail for a long, long time. A it long looks like that. That's, that this time. is this is bad. This is a whole train wreck. This is again one of those like things that is kind of like in a way similar to Onision, because you can see it's a literal train wreck coming and you're you're just kind of like, wow, we're just watching this happen. And And I guess we're just now spectating it because I don't really want to like look away. But here we are. Isn't this the same girl who stuck a middle finger out to the public when she got caught? Yeah, that is. That is the same girl. Okay. Thank you comments for reminding me of this case. Refresh my memory. (laughs) Should I come back to YouTube? No. This girl talked for two whole minutes and it made zero sense. No wonder her mom had to pay for her to go into college. Oh my goodness. (laughs) We're only 40 seconds since. We gotta gotta see the rest of this video before we continue commenting. Miss filming, I feel like a huge part of me is just not the same because this is something that I'm really passionate about and something I really like to do. And you gave up all of that to live this fake college life. Why? Honestly, this is probably more of a why, Lori Lawlin? Laughlin? I can't pronounce any name correctly now. They're probably just not super familiar with what she could actually do with. Most likely. But also, like, she she was dropped by, like, what was it? Sephora and Tresemme? Yeah, that's true. So. I mean, obviously, they saw potential if, like, she's sponsored by those brands. What if they thought, oh, this won't be forever, though? Because, you know, she wasn't Aunt Becky forever, so. Well, she was recently just dropped from Hallmark. Lori was dropped by Hallmark. So, obviously, that did last her a long time. And it's Lori's doings that cut her career short to begin with. So, um, yeah. Moral of the story, don't pay for your kid to get into a college if you're a rich parent. But not a lot of people could relate with that advice. So moral of the story, rich people who bribe their kids into the top universities of America. Uh, But I also didn't know I debated for like seven or eight months, like, well, if I can't talk about it, is there a point in coming back and not being able to say anything? I want to come back because I want to come back. There's no point in me just 
talking for 10 minutes of the camera about how I wish I could say something when I really can't. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for your patience or if you've stuck around for nine months just waiting. I really appreciate it. This is the best I can do and I want to move on with my life and not trying to be in a selfish way. Uh, it's so hard because I'm not trying to like make this about me or like how I've been because it's not the point of this. Though I'm terrified to make this video and to come back. I know that I also want to start taking smaller steps in the right direction for people that have been DMing and asking me. The moral of the story is I've missed you guys so much and I'm just really excited to start filming again and to start uploading it. I really hope you enjoy the vlog. Okay. I don't know how to feel about this. I think a lot of people don't realize what moral of the story means. I think they a lot of people end up using it like just summing everything up. They say moral yeah. of the story. That's not the moral of the story. You're just like, moral of the story, I want to keep posting on YouTube. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so did she make a two minute video contemplating if she's going to make another try on haul video or not? That's my main confusion here. I feel like this could have been done a little bit better in general. Like, obviously, there's a massive lawsuit around her. So like if she just came back to YouTube and started posting regularly, like the videos would get dislike bomb in the start. But after a while, it'll just kind of be like a normal day on her channel again. I think it will always kind of trail behind her. Yeah. That's or there's it'll always be kind of like a cloud, you know? But like at the end of the day, she could kind of dig herself out of it by just creating regular content again, putting some positivity on that name for once in a whole year. <laughs> I don't even know. It must be terrifying to have the entire internet have a microscope on you. But um it's not like they didn't dig their own hole. In a nutshell, that's how I feel about this entire situation. What do you guys feel about this entire situation? Do you guys think that she should be able to come back to YouTube? Or do you think that her life is just finished right now? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and if you're new here, I welcome you to the channel. It'll be awesome if you subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, it'll be awesome if you dropped a like on it. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So athletic, I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet, touch heaven. Haven't had first, bitch, already want seconds.